yes a uh, pleasant pleasant good morning to everyone i am Kalitunian disciple umar muhammad transmitting to you from east dry river ideal lamentil port of spain born and grown up in east dry river although i have lived many places already but not as long as this place where I grew up. When I, I was born in a general hospital, but grew up in Israel. River. In those days, it was the colonial hospital, not the general hospital. You can again log into Facebook and uh, listen to my Kalitsu's Kalitsu and Disciple, Viva Rise, and the Port of Spain. Okay. Tomorrow is election day and for the last time before election as a man as I've said before born and grew up in this area and know about the Thomas State Long time she call it Shanti Tom. Today we call it Silat. There were the days when there was no bitter estate, no Beverly Hills, and John John was quite different. Well, there you have Nelson Street and George Street and so on. The same existence. Laventil, almost the same way. Some improvement on St. Paul Street and other areas. But I must say that the education about the whole thing is... You have a lot of um, courses in, in institutions like the Winston Street, Simon, the community centers, the that place on... Um, on Eastern Main Road, just after you pass the walkover, which is opposite Bitam Estate, a very big place, courses and, you know, well-organized place for courses and so on, and community centers and so on. So there is no lacking of education. Every year, every year, you see people land up on Frederick Street, going up to the Ministry of Community Affairs and so on in order to get education, free education. But it's known that if the education is free, to help yourself, otherwise you have to spend some money because nobody cannot give you free education and then give you a passage and then give you a passage to come and then if you want to buy a tool, give them money to buy the tool. You cannot the baby fed them or fed to the spoon. But as tomorrow's election, I decided to educate the youths and the ignorant about this whole election thing and why the PNM in most cases will be always in power. Last election, when not last election, when the UNC won the election, many people on the UNC says, I said to themselves, never again should the PNM see the, the corridors of power They now won the election and we heard the same old cry. But people should question themselves as to why the PNM never again happens to be again. So let me go back to the colonial time from slavery. When this system that we are living under was introduced, as I've said before and many times by Sir Francis Drake, Sir Walter Raleigh, Ralph Apocambi, Don Shackland, the British, 
and to some extent like Germans and so on and so on. This system was introduced from the strength, from the labor, from the brutality, from the murders, from the enslavement of us, the African and slavery. When you were bit, when you were beaten and dragged on the road and all the things was going on about slavery, when you were thrown overboard, the Indians and the Chinese were nowhere there. It didn't just say it was a mixed thing that Indians was mixed with us and the Chinese were mixed, mixed with us. No, we alone, right? And at, and to some extent, you see, up to today, the PNM party will say, we fight alone, we win alone, we. We what we lose alone, and I don't know under uh, under what impression they are saying that, but I can put that right back to slavery. As I've said before, when we were taken to slavery, there were no Indian with us, and people want you to take that into consideration deeply. There were no Chinese with us. It can be said they went to Africa and they take Africans into slavery and they make a run to China and they bring Chinese to know. There was no Indian, no Pakistani, nobody else with us, but we die alone, we fight alone, we win alone, and we lose alone. And that is where the PNM came into existence. Because the colonial masters wanted a system but what they had to do in order to make the system successful they had to take the house slaves those slaves who they pacified and the, the frightened and the intimidate and these slaves themselves were so pacified and intimidated that they had no other choice but to work for Masha the slave master. Because that is how everything was conditioned. You know, there's a um, uh, Kalitsu by Turner. We are like crabs in a bucket fighting to come out. That is what they did. So the, the house slaves, the slaves who got fed up of the treatment, the slave who started to get on so nice that the master, the slave master took him and said, listen, you will work for me. And I want to put you over these slaves so that you can beat them and you do everything in my name to keep the slaves and to keep everything that I have here in power. So you had the house, the, these people were called the house slaves, and you had the field slaves. The field slaves were on the outside. They were the rebellious one. They didn't want to get on nice. They killed them, they brutalized them, they tortured them. The field slaves are the one who say, my name is so-and-so, an African name. And the colonel master said, no, that is not your name. Say, I am Kunte Kinti. No, not Kunte Kinti. Your name is John. Your name. The field slaves are the one who protested, rebelled against the churches, the Christianity of the slave master. As some of you should know, there was a slave ship by the name called Jesus. And that is why the slaves prayed for Jesus to come back for them. And the slave master will tell them, Jesus is coming soon in order to kind of quiet them. That was a slave ship. And up to now, they put it in our mind, Jesus is coming soon. And a lot of us don't know where that came from. And the slave ship, by the name of Jesus, who, the owner of the slave ship, or the slave master of the slave ship, was King James, who wrote the Bible for us. So we, there was a difference between the house slaves and the free slaves. The house says was to do all the biddings, all the, the, the obey and everything, and do everything that the slave master wanted him to do. And even to whip the slaves, and even to see that the, slave, the slaves do wrong, hold them and bring them to me. So therefore, 
the system was organized, but they wanted people to rule the system. So in order for people to rule the system, they had to choose people who suffered under the system, who were educated under the system, who grew up under the system, and most of all, who obeyed and who became house slaves under the system. So the slave master could not have chosen the Indians. The slave master could not have chosen the Chinese. But the slave master chose the Africans. Even though the Indians were educated, his best choice for government was the African people. We sang the God Save the Queen, the anthem of the English people, the British people. We flew the Union Jack, the red, white, and blue flag. We spent the money, the farthing, the half cent. And on each money dollar bill, the farthing, the penny, the half cent. You see, that penny, why you see that's nonsense, the dollar wise. You finish with the penny long time. On each penny was the face of the queen or the king. And we sang, God save the queen, God save, God save the queen. And for what? For what? So that they can save us within their, their system of enslavement. And when they save us, they save us so that we can assist them and help them so that we can be in authority. And that is why today we are in authority. The African people or the house slaves were chosen because during that time in the colonial system, we had a governor. Who we had again? When we had the Empire Valley Zoo, the Queen's Park, the whole place was colonialized. As you see today, we are calling for the, the, the Christopher Columbus statue to come down. The whole place was colonialized. But it wasn't the general hospital. It was the colonial hospital. And that's why I'm speaking mainly of the youths, because they were not allowed at that time. I myself came in in 1948, and I myself got a taste of the colonial system. So we had the governor, and we have we had other things which somehow I cannot remember. But the colonial system was alive and kicking. The colon under the colonial system, we hated ourselves. We hated everything that was black and so on. But you know how the story goes, so I can't go down into that in any length of time. Like this, black, like that, nigga, cool. We, we, we hated everything that was not in alignment, in sync with the colonial system. So when the end, when the slave master chose a government, he chose a government from the African people, the African people, because they were his best choice. They were, they were programmed. They were organize everything under the slave master system. And there is where the PNM came into existence. That is why my people today, the PNM came into existence and the slave master knows the conglomerate, the 1%, that the PNM is the only party who understands the slave master, who knows what he wants, who know how to deal with him, and therefore, the PNM has continued to rule longer than any other political party because this system is ruled by the 1%, who are grandchildren of the slave master, who are grandchildren of this devious, wicked system when it started. But the PNM was chosen 
and according to the performance of the PNM from the beginning, they went along as the slave master's party that will always be in existence. So therefore you had the PNM. Remember in 1970, the people rebelled against the PNM because they saw the racism and the oppression that was going on to black people, African people. And because now here is where I used to the point of those in authority and those in control. Because the slave master was in control, the PNM had to play the game between the slave master and the people who are rebelling and who are who, who oppress East River, whatever, whatever place, Sea Lots, Lamantin, Bitter Mistake. And the PNM did a good job at that. But they had no other source to do a good job because we all were educated under that system. And we love the system. We love the system. The Indians were educated too, but remember, as I've said before, they were never forced at will to leave, taken from their country and put in no ship and thrown overboard and so on and so on like us. So as I've said before, we were the best choice. So the PNM party continued to exist. Now any other party that came in existence had to move like the PNM or any political leader had to move like the PNM in order in order to be in alignment to be in friendship to be in agreement with those that control the system, not those in authority. The political parties in authority, that is why I always said that all this thing about PNM and UNC and PNM and UNC, the final say is with those in control of the system, the Republic Bank, those who are the big banks, all the big colonialists on the outside who have their interest, invested interest in Trinidad and Tobago. And should anyone cannot rule to their whims and fancies, will be booted out of government. And they know how to do it because they have the control, they have the money, they know who to buy and sell because their culture is to buy and sell. They call us Negroes and those and the, 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 the sold us and the buyers and who want us. And the same thing they do with the political party, they buy and they sell. So they could sell out any political party that does not want to go with their wishes. As we have seen, the UNC came into power. And they made a lot of promises, yes, but they could not live up to the promises. Because I've said before, the colonial system, the masters of this system, the mental slavery system, right? Emancipate yourself from mental slavery. They have the same. They are in control. The political parties are in authority. A difference between the author, those in authority and those in control. So you stand the block and everybody about who don't know, or they listen and taking this. Don't get on yourself to up and, and pass a thing and come that pass and thing. Don't get on yourself to up and just pass a thing government at all. Because this pass a thing is only for you to, to, to come tomorrow and see all the pass a thing all they don't have. Now, when the UNC came into power, the slave master knows that the UNC did not go through what we go through, and they will not fall for the slave master whims and fancies or the slave master agreement. So they will automatically, my people, they will automatically vibrate towards their people and their needs. So when an Indian is in power, he or she automatically devised ways and means so that his people could survive, could be victorious, could be successful, financial, financially, spiritually, and otherwise, under the slave master system. And the slave master will not go for that. And that is why today they are out of power. Mrs. Kamla Kusad Vicesa. And Mr. Pandey, 
Then you have the now government. Mr. Robinson came into power with the now government as the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago. And he wanted the people to be strict and to be disciplined and to know what to sacrifice so that they can overcome the slave master. They did not want that. Run him out. However, you run him out if you pay somebody, if you get to somebody, you run him out. <laughs> and there is where the PNM stands. Don't ever come into power and think that you are in control of any political party. You are only in authority. It comes like if I get a job as a policeman. And this is a perfect example. <laughs> And my job is to lock up a recipe, control the crime. If for some reason or the other, I'm not doing it, when orders are passed on, you see them? Kill. Make a rate, lock up 800, whatever, whatever it is. 8,000, whatever it is. And if I am not doing that, I could lose my job. Or I cannot get what they call um, promotion. I have to go. You see, when the orders pass down, as some people say, the orders come from on top. Hey, you see this tongue, this tongue getting too laden. This tongue getting too rampant with vendors. Poor people try to make a living. They're trying to, to, to get an honest one making a living. They're selling here, they're selling there. I have my business around and we have our business around. Those in the higher order. We have to control them by telling them they cannot sell me on certain days, on certain time and run them or whatever it is. And when that order is passed, I'm not the ordinary policeman who himself may have his family on the street likes that. No, he does not like it. He does not like it. So he takes the order, it's passed down from this from on top to the Ministry of National Security to the Commissioner of Police and to the ordinary policeman. So he takes the order and he goes out because he has a job with the slave master. He is not in control, he's in authority. And his authority is like a job to obey the slave master. So he goes out and when he confronts the ordinary man on the street, who is honestly trying to make a living, he of you gets all the insult. And that is what they did in slavery. When the house slaves go to correct or to do what the slave master want them to do, the free slaves or those in a, those suffering fought against the house slave, the bloody could the house slave, grand house slave. And this is exactly what happened. You're wicked. Policeman, you're wicked. We come out here and we're trying to make honest living lady police trying to run you. But do they think about where the order came from? Or who told the policeman that is that is their job to do? No. So as I've said before, my people, there's a difference in authority and control. So whoever political party come into existence tomorrow, the all who waving flag, whether it be the UNC or not, they have to. No, the PNM knows how to play the game. But anybody who comes, any political party of the PNM who comes into power and does not play the game correctly, he again will be thrown out. Sometimes it will take some time. Eh? Sometimes our political parties give them a chance. We do, man. They didn't play the game right. And the next time they go up there, they have to know how to play the game. Because the slave master love the PNM. As I said before, because the PNM and the African people are the only people that grew up being enslaved by the slave master and know what to do. So when people talk about well, we ain't doing this 25 years, can I do this? All that is just they're just playing games with me. They're just playing games with me. Because if Dr. Keith Rowley, the Prime Minister, gets up and really want to fix an East Driver, industrialize East Driver, so the people in East Driver could have permanent jobs and good paid jobs and what let me tell you something else. You know what those in control will do? Remember, 
It is the ignorance of the people of Israel that created a lot of lawyers and magistrates, and that is how they get their money. That is how they have their bank account. Who do you know from the first areas that go to courthouse? Who do you know from the first areas that police is ready to lock up and make raid on? Once in a while, sometimes I can flash thing for the poor man to say, well, you know, it's not just we alone, it's them too. But who do you know really get locked up for white collar crime? There are so many things to say, my people. So tomorrow is election day. <laughs> we must elect a party that, that know how to deal with democracy. Not democracy, them, D E M O C R A C Y, or democracy. Because it is them who is in control and we are in authority. That is why they have a police service. It was the police force because it was a force thing after you, and they changed it into the police service. And the police service cannot do exactly what they want, but that it, they, whatever they do, it has to be in accordance with those in control, those on top. And don't think they are not black people and those in control, yeah? because I've said before, they are house slaves. Our prime minister is an authority. Our prime minister is an authority. He is still working for those in control. He is in authority for those in control. So whatever we eat, whatever we drink, whatever music we listen to, the secret orders in control, the Illuminati, the Ku Klux Klan, and everybody. Look at what it is going on in Venezuela. Why do you think America does not want Maduro? Why do you think a member of the UNC ran to the American ambassador and started to talk about an embargo or something. So. Because they're afraid, they're frightened, they know. They think that something is going to happen because the way how they see the PNM party or is moving, they say, oh God, will be next, apart from Venezuela, because they know what the slaves master need, and they know that the slaves, in other words, they're not trying to play pussyfoot, they're not trying to play stool to the slave master. They can't play stool to the slave master, because the slave master know that they already organized for their people, and know their people have the language, the name, the culture, the Indian um radio station, the Indian master and everything. They know we don't have that and they know we fight against ourselves. Well, he's African. They give me this African name. We straighten our here and we do all kind of things. So we are the best choice. But things are happening. I can't breathe. Black Lives Matter is happening. If your pressure rise again, our Prime Minister said, I'm black and proud. So let's see how the slave master will think about that. Let's see if the black and proud is only a game to please, to, to, to play the game between the slave master and Excuse me for a while. Yes, I uh, yes. Go ahead, talk, because I do not video here right now. Anytime you want to reach just tell me because you know I'm working in rise of pension. Not the police station closing six o'clock, you know. So be careful of what you're doing. All right, okay. Well, just give my call when you come in, all right? St. Paul Street, no, no, St. Paul Street. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Okay.
No, 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 no. You see, because you don't know. And if you don't know, she will know because you really wanted to get something. It's Julia and myself was putting up. Uh -huh. Yeah. Anyhow, I, I, I do not. All right, I do not video now, so you can talk to me later if you want, right? Yes, I'm here for what? No, no, I don't get, I don't buy things for she already. Okay? All right. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. You know when there's a father, a grandfather, a husband, and everything, sometimes you don't know when the call will come in, but excuse me, sorry about that. Um, but they were, I could not cut off this and I couldn't leave and go aside because, you know, I don't want to insult anybody while I'm saying something. Um, yes. So, tomorrow is election day, and I pray that we all will practice our franchise, but know for a surety that that um, there are those in authority and those in control. So may you go out to the polls tomorrow and may everything be peaceful and quiet. And whether you want to, your Indian Prime Minister to win, whether it is based on race or, or performance, what you have, black people, each driver, all the people in Central, the people of Trinidad and Tobago, those in control who have the last. Um, Umar Muhammad, Khalid Sunan disciple, blessings on all of us tomorrow, today, and forever. Amonah.